How to Unleash God's Favor in Your Life The power of blessings lies in the hands of the Lord, and it's His grace that makes one truly rich. As stated in Proverbs 10, verse 22, The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and He adds no sorrow with it. But, how do we unleash these blessings? Through the Word of God. The Word of God is incredibly powerful, and as Proverbs 18 verses 20 to 21 says, A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Our well-being is tied to our words, including the blessings we want to receive. Whether it's blessings of favor, financial prosperity, health, longevity, children, or anything else, your words hold immense power. As Numbers chapter 14, verse 28 puts it, Say unto them, As truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in mine ears, so will I do to you. God listens to your words and acts on your behalf. So, choose your words wisely, as they hold the power to bring you blessings or sanctions. Your words have the power to shape your life in incredible ways. They have the ability to attract God's favor or disfavor, blessings or curses. Jesus, himself confirmed this in Matthew chapter 12, verse 37, where he says, For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. In Numbers chapter 6, from verses 22 to 27, the Lord spoke to Moses and instructed him to bless the children of Israel with words of peace and grace. He recognizes the immense power that lies within our tongues, and that's why it's so important to choose our words carefully. According to Isaiah 43, verse 26, we're called to remind God of His promises, and declare our desires, so that we can be justified. When we declare our blessings, we're using the creative power that God has given us through our tongues, much like He created the heavens and earth with His own words. So, as believers, our words play a critical role in determining the blessings and outcomes we receive from God. Whether it's favor, lifting, or any other dimension of His blessings, our words have the power to bring them into our lives. Remember, you are what you say, so choose your words wisely. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. In the same way, God created everything we see today. And He has given us the power to do the same with our words. To receive God's blessings and favor, we must love ourselves and speak His blessings into existence in every area where we need them. As the saying goes, confession is the mother of possession. We must declare and claim the promises of the scriptures, having faith and perseverance until our desires are met. Romans chapter 10, verse 10 confirms this, saying, For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Our salvation and realities are shaped by the words we speak. Let's join together in prayer and tap into the abundance of grace and favor that the Lord has waiting for us. We pray with a grateful heart and a clear understanding that when we ask, it shall be given unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, we unleash the power of uncommon grace and favor upon our lives, our families, and all of our affairs. We call forth the Joseph Order of Favor, the kind that elevated Joseph from prison to the palace, from being a servant to a ruler. Dear God, you are the everlasting Father, the King of glory, and the Master of creation. You have shown us the power of speaking things into existence, and so we declare that blessings of favor, uncommon favor, shall locate us and all those under my voice. In Jesus' name. We call forth favor from every direction and in every aspect of our lives, be it in our workplaces, businesses, careers, or any other endeavors. Dear Lord, we pray that from this moment forth, those who have lacked favor will begin to experience unlimited favor in their lives. 
May your favor find them in the morning, afternoon, and night. May they experience a strange order of favor in all that they do and wherever they go. Lord, bless them with the order of favor that will pay for all their years of hard work. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, may your grace and favor always surround us, from morning till night, wherever we go and in all that we do. May we never lack in your blessings and may they be abundant in our lives. Let us follow the example of Esther, who obtained favor in the eyes of all who looked upon her, as described in Esther chapter 2, verse 15. In the name of Jesus Christ. May we receive the same grace and blessings, causing us to obtain favor with everyone we encounter. Just as you favored the Israelites, causing the Egyptians to give them all they asked for, let us receive the same favor in our lives. Let today be the set time for us to receive your favor, as you have promised in Psalms 102, verse 13. May you arise and have mercy upon us, and let your favor reach us from far and near, as described in Psalms 45, verse 12. We give you thanks for your love and blessings, and pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen.